All right. So today, why I wanted to do uh, Facebook Live, wanted to do a live broadcast, and no one better than you to talk about it. But I think it's really exciting. And by the way, I included the link in the description of what we're talking about. So what we're talking about is we're talking about store visits through Google Pay Per Click, and there's companies that I want to talk about that's offered this feature for a while and boy, what's it going to do with them? So why don't you tell everybody what store visits, what I'm saying through Google pay per click. And if they want to see a visual, just click the link in the description, go to the page on the website we put up for you so you can see store visits. So give us the skinny on store visits. Brittany. All right. I'll try to make this as short as possible. Okay. Um, so essentially store visits are conversions that are tracked in our Google ads account. Um, and what that essentially does is if a user clicks your ad and then they visit your store location or your dealer lot, that conversion will essentially show up in your Google ads account. And the way they do that is through a mobile device ID. So if someone clicks the ad on their mobile device and then they visit the lot and they have that phone in their pocket, then it's gonna show up as a conversion because they've now made that connection between those two actions just by that uh, device ID. <coughs> Getting me all choked up. Yeah, so here's well that's the short version. <laughs> so here's a question. When was the last time you went somewhere and you forgot your iPhone or your drawer? When's the last time you went somewhere and forgot your phone? Or let me rephrase that. When's the last time you left the house, forgot your phone, and did not turn around and go back and get your phone? I don't think I've ever done that. Um, as long as I've owned a smartphone, it's pretty much been attached to my hip. So yes. I but, never forget it. And here's a funny story. We're going to talk more about store visits, but here's a really funny story that I, I want to talk about this morning. So this morning, driving to the office, you, you see, Brittany knows where I'm going with this. This morning, driving to the office, I get this phone call on my mobile, and this guy, this gentleman, he asked for Brittany, and I'm like, uh, no, you just called my mobile, but I can get her a message if you want me to. But he acted really weird, like like I was suspicious or something. Is that him calling again? That's the same number again. <laughs> no, it's not. No, I'm just teasing. But anyway, <laughs> so this guy calls, asked for Brittany this morning. No, I can track her down if you need to. And he's like, no, well, no, I've got her other number. I'll call her. But it was the police that was looking for Brittany this morning. So, and it was kind of weird. I mean, the, the police- I'm not a criminal. <laughs> I, I, actually, I think you're laundering money or something like that. So here's a, here's a, why are the police calling me looking for you? So on, I have an iPhone, I'll just disclose that now. Um, and I have an Apple Watch because I'm constantly connected to technology. So um, my iPhone was in my bag, or my Apple Watch was, and I have an emergency feature on it where if it double taps on the side twice, it automatically will dial all my emergency contacts and 911, and apparently the place I work. <laughs> so um, that was what we went through this morning. So it was an accident, but um, it's a good feature, I think, but it just goes to show how connected I am to all my devices, so. And I think it goes to show how all of us are so connected. I mean, think about how many individuals are wearing, you know, Apple watches or droid watches and they have a smartphone. And so I think it's the point being we're very, very connected. And again, the link is in the description of what we're talking about with the site vi or store visits. I think this is really cool because not only can we see what the conversions were, someone went to your website, filled in a lead form, someone called the phone number on your pay-per-click ad, but now we can actually see someone that clicked your pay-per-click ad, went to your website, looked around on your website, and then within a 30-day period, physically walked into your showroom, physically walked onto your lot. It's tracking those individuals too. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, what's cool about it that I think is um, even, and because as a consumer, I'm definitely somebody that does this. I may research something online, but I may not convert online and I will just go to the store and kind of look. I'm one of those people that has to like look and feel things and see them in person. So, um, you know, all those conversions that we're missing online of people that are just doing research online and actually going to the store and making their conversion there or they're, you know, completing the action there. Um, you know, now we can gather that information. Yeah, I think that's really cool. I mean, because you do bring up an interesting point because there's a number of times that we will click a paid ad, go to someone's website. We won't call them. We will not fill in a lead form. I mean, 
that's just a fact of the way it is. And we keep on hearing lead form completions are going down. So now when they walk into your showroom, walk on your lot or whatever, now you're able to track them. So talking about feeling a lot better about your advertising budget now, like we're, uh, you know, one of our clients where we were looking at that report and it wasn't even the full 30 days. Again, the link is in the description. Go check it out. I've got the report on that. But he had over, I think it was over 200 people that walked on the lot. So I think that that's a pretty cool feature. And just so you guys know, not everybody has this, but go to the page and we'll show you how you can get it. So there you go. All right. Any last tidbits on that? Any any further things that we should talk about with store visits through Google Analytics? Um, it is in a beta phase right now. So Google is ironing out some of the more intricate data that they will be able to provide us with. But it's really cool that we've been accepted to the beta and we can get our dealers in there. Um, and even with the data that's available to us through it right now, it's been pretty helpful and exciting for the people that we've implemented it for. So Yep. It has been. I think it's really slick. And it's just, it's one of those things, one more piece. And I think it's really important that we note that if you're a business owner or if you're a marketer and you're thinking it's an advantage just to have a digital marketing strategy, it's not an advantage anymore. It used to be years ago, oh, I'm doing all this digital marketing. It's not an advantage. It's not going to help you succeed in business just because you're able to spend more in digital marketing or doing digital marketing or trying all these new things in digital marketing. The only thing that's going to separate you, your business, and make your budget work better and for you to be able to sell more and be efficient, it's data. And if you don't have the data and you're not using the data, then you're basically spraying and praying. You're just wasting a tremendous amount of money with that. So, I mean, data is what will separate you. It's not digital marketing anymore. And since we talked about, we gave Google some love, some attention talking about store visits, I wanna talk about Facebook really quick and you know more about this. With our beta program that we're working, we're one of three in the country that's doing this, but it's uh, doing a campaign through Facebook Messenger. You were on that call, right, Brittany? Yeah, it's actually an alpha program. So it's completely closed off. Um, we were hand selected for it. Um, and a few of our dealers that we're kind of rolling it out for and getting them involved in that program. It's really exciting. Um, the call yesterday, we talked about all the extra uh, pre-qualification steps that uh, users will go through and these bots will do in order to almost pre-qualify the leads that are coming through Facebook before you know a real sales rep jumps on and engages in that conversation further. Um, it's also using artificial intelligence to provide answers that it will predict that the user might use. So um, just for example, the one they showed us yesterday, it said, what type of vehicle are you interested in? And it popped up with some answers for the user to select instead of having to physically type in so they could select SUV, sedan, you know, truck. So they don't even have to type in, they can just select these answers to make the process that more quick. Yeah. And it's just kind of give some clarification on it. So we're talking about this is a Facebook Messenger program. It's a, a strategy where our market has to be 10 million. So we're marketing 10 million individuals. We're marketing these 10 million individuals through the data that we have because we have relationships with Oracle and Epsilon and Experian. And so seven different companies we have the data to. But it's that Facebook Messenger. And if you don't know what Facebook Messenger is, it's something you really should pay, pay attention to. But isn't that correct that we're able to send a message to individuals through Facebook Messenger on Facebook? Isn't that basically how the conversation starts? Yep. So um, a user or a customer will start the chat and uh, somebody at your business will be notified immediately that somebody is live, ready to chat. There is a bot that will fill in the first few questions so that it gives your representative time to log on and um, get on there to start chatting. But what we're seeing more of is more customers wanna engage within the Facebook platform than having to go to a website or having to converse over email or even over the phone. We're seeing more of them just want to have that conversation right in Facebook and you know have it be more personalized with a sales representative. Yeah, and I mean, it makes a tremendous amount of sense. I mean, 
so many times, I mean, I've seen marketers and I see all of these ads on Facebook and I just kind of go, man, all the money it's being wasted on these ads because the goal of these ads, so many of them are trying to get the individual to click over to their website. And then you click over to their website. And I mean, it's really kind of sad. We're still in 2018 and the vast majority of websites are still not mobile, you know, mobile optimized, that there's slow load times, there's third party you know, tools, widgets, pages, whatever you want to call it, that are not optimized for a mobile device. We're trying to get people to fill in a form on a mobile device instead of a pre-fill. I mean, it's it's just, it's silly, it's ridiculous. And we wonder, you know, I hear so many times, oh, I'm spending money in this digital campaign and it just doesn't work. We rate uh, the platform like Facebook and say it doesn't work, but it's not the platform that's not working. It's your marketing message, it's your process, it's the things that you're trying to do because you're still trying to market like, you know, that you're running on Ask Jeeves or in a newspaper or or something like that. So. Mm -hmm. You've you've got to you've got to think through the entire process and say how do I leverage this platform for what it's optimized for versus trying to make the platform work for what you want it to do. If that did that make sense, what I just said, Brittany? Yep. Okay. I followed. <laughs> right. It's a Paulism. So there you go. But I mean, again, understand the platform. What is the platform really designed to do? Facebook is a social website. People want to go there. They want to be social. They want to hang out on this website, which is really like an, an eco center or, a, you know, a, a more or less a system that's in place where individuals can chat. They can donate money. They can see what their friends are doing. They can tell people happy birthday. They can make a phone call. They can request money. They can send money. They can play games. I mean, and people are spending a tremendous amount of time in Facebook. So quit trying to take them off Facebook instead have the conversation with them on Facebook. But I'm pretty excited. We're marketing to 10 million people through this alpha program. So yep. very cool. Yep. All right. So I know you got work to do and so do I. So I'm going to go back to it. And uh, thanks, Brittany. Thank you. All right. See you guys. Bye. Have a good day.